Hey guys, what's up? Gray here and welcome back to Mono Game. In this episode, I will be going over game states and what it will take for us to implement the main menu, the game state, and the high score state. The current state is the values of all the fields at any given moment. What this means is that we are creating a sort of finite state machine. When we launch the game, we'll want to open the main menu. This will be at the first state at spot zero. Then we'll need the game as well as a high score page when you lose the game. These will all work with each other, so when we want to switch back and forth between states, all we have to do is change one number. I will go over these things when we get to it, but first, let's start by making a new folder. On the left here, right click on your project name and add a new folder called states. Let's do that right here. New folder, and we're just going to call this states. Right click on the states folder and hit add new item. We're going to want to create a new CS file uh, called uh, states. All right, and then we're also going to want a second file and we'll call this the uh, game state at that create another one we'll call this one uh, menu state that sounds about good menu state and we're gonna have one last one the high score state Perfect. All right. So now once we have those, we can actually just go back into game one. Uh, all of this stuff for our game is going to actually go into the game state uh, right here. I'll just throw it into a separate file for now. And uh, when we get to it, I'll go over it. All right. So basically, I have stripped our game one loop now. I put it into its own uh, text document file. Um, I'm just going to sort this out, make this look a little bit nicer. Put random there. And then we'll have uh, different stuff like a uh, font when we get to that. Um, I'm going to change this to 1920, 1080. Perfect. All right, so we're going to want to create two new variables. These are very important. Uh, so we have private state, current state. And we have private state, next state. All right. Fix that. It's definitely private state. Um, so private state, and then we will go down here to load content. Here in load content, we are going to want to do current state is equal to new sprite batch graphics device right there, and semicolon perfect. And then we'll do uh, current state dot load content and next state equals null. In unload, we won't have anything, but we will have stuff in update. We're going to say open if the next state is not null. Brackets there. And we'll say current state equals next state and current state dot load content and next state equals null. All right, and then outside of that, we'll say current state dot update passing game time and we'll have current state dot post update passing game time keep saying gamer time and then we have base dot update And here we pass in game time as well. All right, so that's that update. And we're also going to want a, uh, oh, I guess we can delete post update. And uh, we're gonna make a new function here. So we'll call this um, public void change state. Pass in state state. And we're going to say next state 
is equal to space. Perfect. Um, all right, and one last thing we're going to draw. So um, we're just gonna say current state dot draw as in game time any sprite batch. Perfect. All right, so, so far we are coming along pretty well. We have to fix the state. So let's go into state and let's create this. What we're gonna want to do is import. All right, yeah, we're gonna wanna copy all these from game one, put it into state. And that's all we need. So let's start writing this namespace monotube.states, open, and we'll say class public abstract class state. And then in here, we're going to want to create two variables, protected game one game. So that's our game. And then we have protected content manager and content. So we'll also want uh, our constructor, so public state, game one, game, and content manager, content. And after this, some brackets, and we'll say game equals game. and content is equal to content. Perfect, all right, um, let's see, we might have to import this. Yep, import content, perfect. So this file will show us the values of all the fields at any given moment. It will help us figure out what state we are while we're playing in the game. So it's gonna give us the game and the content manager here so we can access it wherever we need to. All right, we're honestly only halfway done with this, so let's continue on. After that, we're going to have a public abstract void load content. If I can spell. We're also going to want a public abstract void update. We'll pass in game time game time. We're also going to want a public abstract void post update, which is also going to pass in game time. And a public abstract void draw. This one's going to have the game time as well as the sprite batch. And uh, there we go, we're done with that one. So that is all I'm gonna do for today. In the next episode, we're going to continue on to the game states. Uh, I hope you stick around. So thank you all for watching. In the next episode, we'll fix this error. Oh, actually we might be able to right now. Beautiful, look at that. Oh, but now we have an issue here. Um, all right, we'll figure that out in the next episode. So uh, stick around, thank you all for watching and have a nice day.